Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, where I show you how to save money and make more money, all while bettering yourself every single day. And I relate everything I say back to my own experiences to serve as motivation to you. Let's get in this video. I talk a lot about saving money on this channel, but today I want to do more than just tell you about saving money. I actually want to show you what it looks like. If you're anything like me, when you hear about saving money, your mind probably goes to a dark, lonely place where you go to suffer. Slowly. That's not even an exaggeration. Like, it really does feel like that sometimes. And a mistake I made early on in my financial journey was thinking I actually had to miss out on life just to meet my savings goals. Not only is that a miserable experience, but that's also a really slow way to get to where you want to be. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can still save more money than you ever have before, faster than you ever have before, without missing out on life. Let's get into this. So there's three enemies of saving money. And those three things are experiences, things, and food. We'll call them the three temptations, and these are all things that I myself have been guilty of overindulging in, which has emptied my bank account time and time again, especially when I was in college. Then I graduated, started making some money, and me being the person who wants to research everything, I started to Google search how to save money. And that's where I learned that going out and having a good time is bad, buying things that you like is bad, and going out to eat is bad. So the first lesson I want you to learn from this video is these three things are not bad, even if you're saving money. What is bad is spending too much money on these things because you've developed a habit of giving into these three vices too often, like on a daily basis, or in some cases, multiple times a day. The first tip I'm gonna give you is to make room for your vices. And if you've watched my video on what to do before you get paid, this is gonna be very easy for you. And if not, make sure you check it out right after this video. I'll link it up here for you. So I'm gonna start off this tip with a rant. Since you're watching this video right now, I'm sure you've come across tons of videos and articles on the internet telling you that the best way to save money is to skip the coffee, never eat out, cook at home 100% of the time, live under a rock, and keep the lights off in your house at all times. Some of these things go to the extreme, but half the time it's really not even that serious because a lot of this common advice that you hear only really saves you pennies. Now, some people do have to have tighter budgets than others, while some are more fortunate than others, and that's something you'll definitely need to consider, but I wanna talk to you about controlling what you can control, because that's what saving money is all about. So I'm gonna use myself as an example. I'm the type of person who likes experiences. I like to be active, so I enjoy stuff like hiking, rock climbing, swimming, stuff like that. And you might be into experiences like concerts, movies, traveling, and whatnot. We all know these experiences can be relaxing, rejuvenating, and refreshing, so you can kind of reset yourself and get your mind right. It's a really good way to keep yourself going and also have fun in the process. It really doesn't cost that much money to do any of these things, and in a lot of cases, it's free. But of course, some of these can get pricey, so this is what I'll say to you. Make room for these. I like to go out to the movies, but I don't like the price that comes with it. That gives me two options. Either I can set aside some money every month to go out to the movies with, or I could just rent movies at home and use my nice little home theater I got going on over there, and I can do that for a couple of dollars. I'm not gonna lie, my setup is actually pretty dope, and thanks to quarantine, I genuinely prefer my home theater to actual movie theaters. Plus, I have way better food at my place, I'm just saying, and it doesn't cost 40 freaking dollars. Ah, let me stop. I told you I was gonna start off with a rant now. But hopefully you get the idea. If you're like me and you live in a mountainous area, there's tons of places you can go hiking for free. All you have to do is drive there. If you're someone who likes to swim, there's plenty of lakes and pools. There's a bunch of places to swim for free as well. And if you don't like either of those options, there's even high-end places you can go that have pools that only cost $10 to get into. I'm talking music playing, there's a DJ posted up in the back, food provided. If drinking's your thing, they have drinks available. You know what I'm saying? Essentially, a pool party on a rooftop is pretty much what it is. I just went to one in my area a few weeks ago, and it was pretty cool. So I'm, what I'm saying is, this stuff doesn't cost a lot of money. $10. The reason I bring up experiences first is because I think that's where you can get the biggest bang for your buck and really enjoy yourself for a low price. Now, if you're anything like my friends and you like going out to concerts, obviously those can get pretty pricey. So what you do is you set aside money so you can get there. You're already gonna know about the concert way ahead of time, right? So the best thing for you to do is just put little by little into a savings account for that concert specifically month by month until you get there. It's actually really simple. Same exact concept goes for things and food. You like shoes? Save up for them. Make room for them in your budget over time. And you'll see that you're gonna be able to afford those shoes without having to worry about going over on your budget and looking hurt. 
And when I say you can afford them, I don't mean you can just buy them one time. You should be able to buy them three times without breaking a sweat. And the only reason I'm telling you this is because I don't want you sitting there with your lip poked out when you got some fresh shoes on, but you're sitting there looking broke. That pair of $200 shoes looks nice, yeah, but they ain't worth being bout broke. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You might like to look good and be fresh every now and then. Get yourself a nice shirt here and there. Bro, hit up H&M. And ladies, you can do this too, but you can find a shirt that fits you really well for like $8. Stop tripping off brand names. I promise you, when you walk past people, nobody is checking for what brands you're wearing. I promise you. Now for food, this is something I hold very near and dear to my heart. This is definitely where a lot of my money goes. And I like food more than most things. I'm just going to put that out there. Food is definitely that one thing that most people just kind of blindly spend their money on. And then at the end of the month, they're sitting there like, where'd my money go? Don't feel bad though. I've been there. Just take this as an opportunity to improve your spending. Food in general is expensive unless you go grocery shopping. And even then, it's pretty costly. And even once you grocery shop, you still like have to cook the food. And being someone who used to cook at home 100% of the time to save money, I can tell you it got old fast. For one, I wasn't making a very big variety of foods. I just kind of stuck to a few signature dishes, like chicken and rice. And two, I had a bunch of long days at work, and when I had a long day, I don't be feeling like cooking. So a great way to counter that is to meal prep some good food, season it to perfection, and have it in that refrigerator waiting for you when you come home. This is gonna take some time to do, but it'll save you money in the long run. And the key to this is you're not gonna do it 100% of the time, unless you just want to. Sometimes your friends or family might wanna to get together with you and go out to eat. Sometimes you might wanna go out on a date or you might even just wanna treat yourself to a decent meal sometimes. These things are going to happen no matter what. Sometimes you're not gonna feel like cooking. Like me yesterday, it was cheat day for me yesterday. Do you think I cooked? super hot out today but anyways i just got back from this burger spot that i really like today is cheat day for me on cheat day i don't feel like cooking i don't feel like doing nothing i eat pretty much whatever i want to so i got me a burger right here and i got some shakes right here you know what i'm talking about chocolate shake and a burger all that stuff you know what i'm talking about boom check it out it's called the habit burger grill uh, really good stuff but uh anyways i'm about to take this inside and i'm about to tear it up i tore it up too what happens to a lot of us, though, is we go through the motions of everyday life saying, all right, it's lunchtime. Let me go pick up something to eat. All right, it's time to go get something for dinner. Oh, I know I literally just went grocery shopping, but I'm going to order me a pizza tonight. I know you done did that before. See, see that's where you're going wrong. All you got to do is plan it out. So I gave you those three long examples so I could tell you this. Simply make room for them. Of course, when you're saving money, you're going to make some sort of sacrifice, but that doesn't mean you should just go cold turkey and throw everything you've ever enjoyed doing out of the window. I think that's the misconception people have when it comes to saving money. And you know, I used to wonder why so many people search how to save money. And then I started to wonder why I'm able to make so many videos on the topic of saving money. And the answer is a lot more simple than I thought it was. And I'm going to share it with you because I think this is going to help you. The answer is this. Everybody wants to save money, but not everybody has the discipline to make the necessary sacrifices to save money. And not everybody understands how to balance what needs to be sacrificed in order to save money. So I'm going to break this down for you. A lot of us who try our hardest to save money feel so restricted because we're making so many sacrifices to the point where we just want to feel free to do whatever we want to do, despite the fact that our savings aren't where we want them to be because we're emotional creatures who make impulsive decisions. And I just want to say this before I get to the most important part of the video. This channel is for a pretty wide demographic of people. Some of y'all might need a bare bones, super strict, not doing nothing kind of budget. But I think there's a lot more people out there who just want to save a lot of money, but they haven't gotten there yet because they haven't yet built the discipline because they're just going cold turkey. Look, I love chocolate chip cookies. Matter of fact, I had one today. Growing up, they used to tell me I was going to turn into a chocolate chip cookie. Matter of fact, my skin used to be lighter than it is now. That chocolate, man. If I just decide that I'm just going to stop eating chocolate chip cookies altogether, how long do you think I'm going to last? Not very long. I'm going to be sitting there looking sick, having withdrawal symptoms. Then I'm just going to, you're just going to see me randomly vanish out of thin air. Like Thanos just snapped me out of existence. 
So this is what you do. If you like experiences, find free or inexpensive ways to have those experiences. And you're gonna do that as you're saving up for the experiences that you really wanna have, whether that's going on a cruise or taking a trip to a different country. If you like things, buy things that you like in moderation. Whether that's clothes, shoes, video games, purses, car parts, makeup. I hope y'all appreciate my variety of examples, especially the ladies, I didn't leave y'all out this time. Anyway, as you make room for your vices, you'll see that your savings start to go up while you're still enjoying life. From there, you can decide if you're happy with the amount of money you're saving or if you want to speed that up a little bit. Then you slowly dial back your spending on these things little by little. And actually start prioritizing things that you enjoy so you're not feeling like you're a prisoner to your bank account or your goals. Because that will inevitably lead to self-sabotage. And you're better than that. Now here's something you need to do. Write everything down. I want you to write down all your expenses, how much money you make after taxes, and all the things you want to spend your money on. And take a step back and look at this as an adult who has goals because that's what you are. You're going to do three things when you do this. You'll see exactly where you are, exactly how much you want to save, and exactly what your vices are. Those three things are going to keep you on track. And once you know how much you want to save, guess what? That's the bill that you owe yourself every month now. You know how rent's due on the first? Well, the best way to do this is your savings are due on the first too. Now, not everyone can do this, and if you need to split it up between paychecks, that's perfectly fine. You can do that too, but I'm telling you, if you can, this is most effective if it's done at the first of the month. And the way to change the game is to actually automate your bank account and do this automatically every single month so you don't even have to think about it. And the way to change the game is to actually automate your bank account. That way you automatically pay that bill to yourself every single month and you know what? You're not going to miss that money because you're going to be used to it automatically going to your savings account and then you're going to watch it stack up month by month. See, I love talking about this and this is exactly why I created my first course ever called Flying Solo. I'm going to be launching it soon and it's going to show you guys how to master all the money coming in and out of your account. It's really going to help you improve and it's coming out soon so be on the lookout for it. Shameless plug. Now this part is something a lot of people don't do, but I'm going to say it anyways because if you actually do this, this can change your life. Now I just went over the fact that saving money is literally as simple as setting a savings goal, automate it, forget about it, then move on with your life. That simple. And it shouldn't take up any of your mental capacity whatsoever after you've set it up. And if you're at a point in your life right now where you're saving money but it just feels like it's going really slow or even if you're content with the amount of money you're saving, the number one way that you can boost the amount that you're saving every month while still enjoying your life is to profit off of something that you enjoy doing, like something you're really passionate about. I mentioned this a few times on this channel, but I don't think I've been very clear about it, so I'm about to tell you exactly what I mean by that right now. I really just mean making extra money doing something you love doing. If you love your job, then level up at work, keep adding value, move up. Of course, it'll take some time to do that, but obviously while you're saving money, there's only so much you can keep saving and pulling back when you're spending. At some point, you're going to need to make more. So if you want to make more money than you ever have before, faster than you ever have before, without missing out on life, do something that you love doing and make extra money off of doing that in addition to what you're saving. That's a great way to do it. Or you could simply make extra money on the side. There's tons of different ways to make money from home or online, and despite the fact that everyone has their own ideas of how to do this, it's really only limited by your imagination. But it has to be something you actually want to spend your time doing. If not, you're just going to feel like you're doing a job that you hate doing, and you're literally just going to be doing it for the money. And that goes against everything I believe in, because you can't put a price on your sanity, and that's a great way to lose it. You could be a tutor online if you're passionate about teaching. And now that this virus is starting to slow down some, you can actually start teaching people in person. You could coach basketball, soccer, volleyball. You can have Zoom calls that you charge people for. You can make a YouTube channel. You can wash cars. You can work on cars and charge people for it. You can make art for people. Maybe you're really good at cooking. Look, there is some skill that you have right now that somebody is willing to pay for. And you're probably thinking of that skill right now as I'm talking to you. And if you need help figuring out what that is, whatever it is that comes most natural to you is what you can profit off of right now. And those examples I just listed were just a few examples. There's tons. I can't even count them all. So we're going to recap real quick and then I'm going to let you go because you got money to make. So make room for your vices. Dial back your spending when it comes to your vices, but do it little by little. Don't just go cold turkey. Know what I'm saying? 
set savings goals and watch my video that shows you what to do before you get paid so you can get this locked in and you don't mess this part up. Automate your savings and make extra money doing something you're passionate about. And that, my friend, is how you save money without missing out on life. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. Stay cold.